In this video, I'll show you how to live stream on YouTube on your mobile device. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And now let's go and jump straight into this guide. Just a quick note, this guide is gonna work on all types of mobile devices and phones, including iOS, Android tablets, it's all going to work. And I'll be showing you two different ways of how you can go and stream on YouTube. And one of them will still work even if you don't meet the eligibility requirements. So the first way I'll show you how to stream on YouTube is the more traditional way. So open up the YouTube app and go and press on the plus or create button in the bottom of the YouTube navigation bar. And then what you need to do is go and press on go live, just like so. And then as you can see in this case, it says for me, your channel does not meet our, up our updated eligibility requirements for mobile live streaming. You can still live stream with your webcam or broadcasting software. So press OK and close off of YouTube. So in this case, we need to go and get some software for our phone to go and stream as it just said there. So go and open up the App Store or Play Store. And what you want to do is go and search for an app called Streamlabs. Now Streamlabs is a really popular app, um, especially of the desktop version. So go and download it and then go and tap open just like so. And then here we are, as you can see, it's gonna run you through everything. So press next. Um, you then need to go and choose what you'll primarily be using Streamlabs for. So you can either go and stream your camera or you can stream your games. In this case, I'm gonna stream my camera. Then go and press next and you can go and choose the layout. In this case, I recommend going for the default one because you don't really know what you want to customize yet until you use it a bit. Then go and press next again. And in order to go live, we need to go and enable our camera and our microphone. So I'll press okay for both of them. And here we go. We should now be pretty much there. I don't want any notifications. And here we are in Streamlabs on a quickly run through how it all works. So in the top left, we've got this um, two bars here. That's gonna go and open up your account settings. Then in the top right, you can go and choose which camera you want to use. We've got front camera, back camera, and the ultra wide one. And then we've also gone and got uh, the scene button to the right of that button in the top right, where we can go and switch scenes. I'm not going to. And then at the bottom, you can go and flip your camera. Here I am here. And then you can also go and mute yourself. And then on the right hand side, you can go and view the chat and the event list. Now what we need to do is go and connect our YouTube account to this so we can go and stream. So in order to go that, go and press go live, just like so. And then as you can see, we can see all of the accounts we can go and connect. In this case, we want to use YouTube. So to the right of YouTube, we can go and press login, just like so. And then you'll need to go and sign into your Google account. So I'll sign into mine now. And then once you've signed in, you can then go and choose which channel you want to go and live stream to. Now what's really important is that in order to live stream, even if you have zero subscribers, you need to have verified your channel with your phone number in order to go and live stream. I'll quickly show you how to do that now. So I'm gonna close off of Streamlabs and open up my browser. And what you need to do is type in studio, dot youtube dot com just like i'm doing right now just like that and press go then you'll need to go and sign into youtube just like you did on streamlabs and here we are we should now be on the youtube studio and make sure you go and request a desktop version of the site and once it loads you need to make sure you selected the correct channel so in this case i want to go and do it to my channel um tutorial example this one here so i'm going to tap on it just like so and then once you've selected it come to the bottom left and go and press on the settings gear icon cog in the bottom left then select channel on the left hand side and move across and tap on feature eligibility. And then what we need to do is come down to intermediate features. And as you can see, mine is eligible, but not enabled, which is which we need to make sure is enabled. As you can see, I'll press this downwards arrow. We need to go and have this enabled in order to go and live stream. Otherwise you can't live stream. And all you need to do to verify yourself is enter your phone number. So go and do that now. And once you've verified your channel, then you can come back to Streamlabs. And now I've already verified my channel tutorial Tucker 2. So I'm gonna use that channel there. I'll tap on it just like so. I've now gone and connected it. Now, all you want to do is close off of this just like so. And this is mainly it guys. Now, all you need to do to go live is press go live just like this. Um, we need to go and select the platform. I want YouTube. And then we've got three different options here about events. To be honest, you probably don't already have an event set up. So just click on create a broadcast that starts immediately. And then we can go and name this. So I'm gonna name this hello or hi, and then just press done. Then press go live. And now we're actually going live. As you can see, the wheel is circling and boom, there we go. It's gonna take a moment to connect. As you can see, it says connecting. And then at the top, it's gonna to start the counter. And then when you want to stop it, just tap on your screen, press stop, confirm you want to stop broadcasting again, press finish. Uh, and then it's gonna keep circling and then it's gonna go and end the stream for you. And if you get an error message saying the user is not enabled for live streaming, this means you haven't gone and verified your account with your phone number as I just showed you. So make sure you go and do that and then it should work. 